Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. Find the area of the red rectangle. Okay, so we have to find the area of this rectangle here. We get the area of this left rectangle and the area of this right rectangle and the length of this part here and the length of this part here. And we want to find the area of the rectangle, so we would need the length of the sides for that. So let's call this side x and the length of this side y. So we have y here again. And then we just multiply x by y to get the area of our rectangle. This is our plan. We only need x and y. So what do we know about x and y? Well, not much yet, uh, but maybe we take a look at our rectangles, um, because here we have the length y, and what about the length of this side here? We don't know it exactly, but we know the length of this part here, which is 11 meters, but this would be too long. We only want to have the length of this rectangle here, so we don't need this part here. So from the 11, we just subtract the x. So to get the length of this side here, we take the 11 and subtract the x. And the same with this rectangle here as well. If we want to know the length of this side, we can take the 9 meters, which would be too long, and then just subtract this length here, which is x again. So this time we have 9 minus x. Okay, then we can use the areas of our rectangle. So if we want to find the 40 here, we would just multiply the lengths of these two sides. So we would take 11 minus x, write it in parentheses, so that we take this entire side and multiply it by y to get the area of 40. And the same with this rectangle here. We take the 9 minus x this time, write it in parentheses, multiply it by y again, uh, but this time we get an area of 30. And here we have a system of equations now with x and y, two variables, two equations. We should be able to solve 4x and y and then find the area of our rectangle in the end. So let's try and solve this system of equations. There are multiple ways how to do it. Um, maybe we first get rid of these parentheses by multiplying them by y here and there so that we multiply each element in here by y and the same here as well. So in the first equation we have 11 times y, so 11y minus x times y, minus x times y equals 40. And in the second equation 9 times y minus x times y again, and this time this equals 30. Because we have x times y in here and x times y in here, we can get rid of it by either adding both equations or subtracting them. Let's try and subtract them. What happens? We have minus xy minus minus. So the minus minus gives us a plus. So we have minus xy plus xy and it will cancel out. Okay, let's subtract. 11y minus 9y equals 2y. These cancel out, we just saw that. And on the other side we have 40 minus 30 which equals 10. To solve for y we just have to divide both sides of the equation by the 2 here so that this cancels out. Only y is left and it equals 10 over 2 equals 5. We found the value for y. 
uh, but we also needed the value for x, so we can use this value now and insert it anywhere, wherever we want to. Let's just pick this equation here. So the second equation where we have 9 minus x that we want to find. This time we multiplied by 5. We know that y equals 5 and this equals 30. Let's solve for x. Maybe we divide by 5 first so that the 5 goes cancels out on this side here and then we only have 9 minus x on the left side and on the right side 30 over 5 equals 6. To solve for x we can subtract the 9 maybe on both sides of the equation so that this cancels out here and minus x is left and here 6 minus 9 equals negative 3. We're almost done, we just have to get rid of the minus here, so we divide by negative 1. This cancels out and only x is left and negative 3 over negative 1 equals 3. We found our values for x and y, so let's take them. Let's go back to the beginning here. What did we want to do with them? We needed them for our area of our rectangle. So x equals 3, y equals 5, 3 times 5 equals 15. So we found the area of our red rectangle. We were working with meters and square meters, so the area is 15 square meters. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!